I quick question. I hope you're not getting confused. Let me just do a quick recap again. Ideally, when you buy a template like this, remember where we are on right now is how to build a blog page. Your blog templates will not always be perfect. The arrangement will not always be how you want it. And that's why I showed you how to rearrange and order your web page because this is the home page of our blog because i may not want these three things to be the first text in mine i may want excuse me i may want a text i may want something else to be there so that's why i had to show you that few tricks of how to make some edits to your web page and the same thing applies to any kind of site you're building so that's generally how we operate now i'm going to be showing you how to oh let me update if you are done making your edits please update so that it goes live don't forget that click on update here so that that update is made live to your audiences and everybody can see it all right so the first thing you're going to do is if you are building a blog typically blogs have categories let's say this is a fashion blog there are different types of fashion there is fashion you know eyewear there is bags there is what else shirts so if the same way your blog can dedicate categories because some articles are going to be about eyeglasses some are going to be about shirts some are going to be about hair some are going to be about bags so you need to categorize your site so that whenever you're writing an article you can select the category that it falls under and that's the first thing we're going to do so we'll go to post on that post you'll go to categories which is a sub menu click on the categories and we will simply first of all yeah i first of all recommend that you delete all the follow com <laughs> the categories you know they're about a lot of them here just click on this checkbox at the top or you do it one by one and delete everything so that your site will just carry the right name once that is done the next thing we're going to do then is start giving our site name if this is a fashion site i'll say bags that's the name of that category and you don't need to do anything else you might want to write a um description but it's not necessary just click on add to category see bags is here and next thing i want to say is eyewears eyeglasses that's two and now let me say mm, hair all right so these are my three categories next thing i want to do is go to all post all post means all the articles that are on your website as you can see there are so many on my site here but only three are published three 20 are in draft draft means it's not live but it's just like in the works sort of so what we want to do is add post this is exciting add post means you want to publish a new post let me look for one fashion fashion blogs and we'll just try to recreate it and all right let me just pick this brighter Stop stressing me, Brida. What's your name? Put on the African fashion law. Let's see. I hope you two will not carry something. Ah, okay. It's, it's from these people, it's not from the site. All right, bye. I'm done with you. All right, cool. So, exactly. If you notice the site too under discover see can you see how many sub menus they have and this are what we call categories sex and wellness fashion how to night beauty so what we want to do is i just want to open an article okay let's say i want to copy this headline leandry medin on da, 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 da. let me copy this headline and use that that's the first thing that's the title of your article once that is done the way you add stuff is by using there's this small dot called block 
add block blocks are like elements that you add to your blog page let me click on it so you see what it brings it has paragraph images heading and stuff paragraph means normal text that you write in this page that would be this you know all this text the main text that's what it is so i'm gonna copy this first place and i'll choose paragraph here so that i can paste and you can see my paragraph is live once you have finished that place click on enter and you see that box appear again click on block let's say i want to add an image after this first one click on image you can either upload media library or insert from a url i'll click on media library i want to pick something that's already on my site very quickly okay and use guys picture select you see does it look like our site is our blog page is coming up i guess next maybe i want to add another subheading maybe i want to name things what do you do heading this is headlines it stands for headline let me say i'm listing five fashion things you must wear for christmas one um sweaters and i'll click on enter and then i want to click dot and write my paragraph what do i want to say about that let me also click this dummy text here okay that's what you should actually do instead of picking someone's blog just click type dummy dummy text you know there's what we call dummy text it's just urm ipsum so you can always use this text whenever you want to write anything all right um, but i'm already done here maybe after this place i want them to click a button and go to a page you can also add that to your blog article add blog you will notice that there is browse all under here which means there are more items you can add click on that okay i'm looking for button where's button button let me just search button all right go see button all right and now we have a button on our page maybe this is a sweatshirt i'll say buy now but what if you want to change something about the button maybe the color how do you do that if you look to your right there's a place that says block and you see a width settings blah blah blah, blah. to the right it has this thing called like look like the half moon styles this is where you select the style you can either make it a fill button or an outline see fill outline fill and then here you can change the color of the text and the background of the button itself maybe i want to use a red or a green change and then the text if i want it to be a black you know anything and then the size of the text small large you know however you want it corner radius is already cornered that means in case you want yours to be straight you don't want your button to have that round edge so the more you increase the more round edged it is all right so with that i'm done the key thing you need to do here you need to actually add a link where this thing will direct to and for that once you're on the button you would always see this link icon at the top click on it maybe i want them to lead to this article itself i'll copy this and then type the url and once it brings that click on enter good so our post is live and that's how you keep adding one other thing you can add that you may always have to add is maybe you want to add a let's say you want to add a youtube link you want to embed a youtube video to this page maybe you're talking about something that happened in the news search for youtube here so youtube what do you have to do on that is just just copy the link to the youtube video you want in question and enter you'll see it load up now see it's that easy what else can you add there are so many things you can add whatever you need you want to add a quote you want to add a list like dot 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 point one point two fried okay where is that fried rice 
saying anything you want and once you're done what do you do you can first of all take a preview of your text maybe in mobile see this is what your text will look like in mobile can you see it see the button see the or you can just publish when you're done which is what I would do but before that let me go back to desktop view you know we'll notice that this is our blog page if you see it has this picture that is always showing at the cover of every title before we publish that's called the featured image to add that to yours switch between this block to post you to be on block by default because you are editing these blocks switch it back to post and scroll down and then you see and that where is that where should that be um tags no all right let me scroll down maybe it's somewhere here mm. i'll first of all publish this and then I would refresh it's typically at the left side right side of this I want to make sure I see what's going on oh ha huh, see it wasn't here before for some reason so click on it featured image click on that I will use the same guy's picture so as this featured image then I will go and update again all right so let me refresh our blog now and see where this post comes to play see it has now done what it has joined this league of gentle people up here see the title food zina but you will notice this post are saying uncategorized and no comments comment means people have not made comments uncategorized that's because i did not select the category and the reason why we created a category in the first place is so that we can tag categorize our article so i'll click on category drop down and change it from uncategorized to let me say here and click on update all right with that done i'll come to this page refresh so you see this page now has hair and that ladies and gentlemen is how you publish a blog which means to recap the first thing is structure your menu how many categories let me let's even quickly run through that very very shortly i don't want this video to be too long but if you want to do that you know just come to appearance menu we just have to yeah let's say i wanted to add categories of my site see the categories i can add them i can add bag eyewear as menu see but i don't want them to stand alone i want them to come on the home page so i would i could just move them to the side so that they are like a drop down on my on my page you can play around with them anyhow you want really there is no single way to it see bags hair. when i click on hair now you should see that particular post can you see so that ladies and gentlemen is how you build a blog post your assignments which is the part that i like now is i want you to first of all install a wordpress template which i would forward to the group whatsapp group check and install that wordpress template on your site remember i said buy your domain name and hosting even if it's the cheapest one of 500 now per year buy something and try it out set it up wordpress and then install this thing import the blog demo from the theme and then publish two articles it can be third party article it doesn't have to be original or just populate it with lorem if some text so that's your assignment after this class and i'm going to see you in the next week's course bye